Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the ships at sea. And a happy, vet happy Veterans Day to all of you who served our country in the military. Welcome to today's Friday, November 11, 2022, Walpole Media Corporation broadcast of Walpole High School, Division I, MIAA State, quarterfinal field hockey tournament action as the Winchester High Terps meet your Walpole High Porkers from John Turco Field on the Walpole High campus. My name is Rick Brown, your voice of Walpole High Sports. I'll be providing all of today's play-by-play -play action. Walpole High grad Harry Murphy will be handling the filming for this contest. The Porkers are the top seed with a 19-1 record, winners of both the Hergett Division and the Bay State Conference Championships with a 13-0 record. Walpole advanced after a slow start by blanking Attleboro four to nothing two days ago and waited until and two days ago waited until the fourth quarter to do all their scoring in a span of 67 seconds to oust Concord Carlisle two to nothing. Winchester's tournament victories have come against Westford two to nothing and Hingham one to nothing. Today's winner will meet the Franklin Wachusett Regional victor in the state semifinals. The Porkers are on top of the D1 power rankings by the Boston Globe, are undefeated in a dozen home games, and are outscoring their opponents 80-8. to As far as I could tell, these two teams have never met in field hockey before. Walpole also tops the MIAA power rankings with an overall score of 3.8234. The Terps are eighth in the same rankings with a 2.3740 mark. Incidentally, Winchester's nickname of the Terps comes from, from the Dutch, meaning an artificial dwelling hill or a village in the old Frisian language. The Red and Black is runner-up in the Liberty Division of the Middlesex League with a 5-1-3 and three record, 13-2-4 and four overall. Winchester is 3-2-2 two and two on the road and is outscoring their opponents 53-14. In their first eight games, Winchester allowed just two goals with a one-to-nothing loss, one loss to Lexington, its only blemish. The Terps' only other setback was to Watertown, six to nothing. They had earned ties with Arlington, Reading, Lexington, and Lincoln Sudbury all by the score of one-to-one one, and have ten shutouts to their credit. Walpole has won 12 straight great games after dropping a three-to-one count at Longmeadow in their only setback of the season back on September 24th. Goalkeeper's co-captain Matty Clark and 11th grader Abby Johnson have combined for 15 shutouts and allowed just five teams to score on them. Sophomore Izzy Adams and junior Karen Birch, who both had an unassisted goal against Concord, lead Walpole in scoring with 30 points each. Co-captain Lindsay Jacobs, freshman Kate Schneider, senior Bridget Welch, and 10th grader Caitlin Norton are all tied with 14 points. Junior Taylor Carter has added nine tallies and three helpers for a dozen points. Emma B. and Cooley has, a tally, has tallied a trio of goals for Walpole. Freshman Kendall Cusack has a pair, and Elaine de Gavoni, Grace B. and Cooley, Gabby Aloigi, and Megan Famoletti have all found the back of the net once. And with that being said, we're pretty much ready to begin today's game. We're hoping to get this game in nice and fast before the rain comes. Uh, let's see, it looks like Junior Molly Hiller will be in the goal for Winchester. And of course, Maddie uh, Maddie um, Clark will handle the chores for Walpole. Two teams going out on the field now for a pre-game discussion with the officials. Walpole in their home white tops with orange, uh, blue lettering and an orange stripe. Uh, Winchester in their Black uniforms yeah, with white numbers eight, and red eight, striping. Well, we've, well, we've got a chance here. I know a lot of you are out there saying, you know, I wish I could do some play-by-play -play on cable TV for Walpole Media Corporation. It would be a fun thing to do. Well, you know what? You don't have to be worry about that anymore. You can do play-by-play -play or cable TV. 
anytime. Just give us a call. Uh, we're always looking for interested people who want to do it. You don't need to be a professional. You don't need to appear on TV. It's just your voice people will hear. Parents, siblings, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, friends, neighbors, anyone is invited to try this. If you're interested, please contact Walpole Media Corporation Executive Director Tamara Green at 508-668-7795 by emailing her at tgreen at walpolemedia.tv. That's 508-668-7795 or emailing tgreen at walpolemedia.tv. It really is a lot of fun, and the students at WH, student athletes at WHS will really appreciate it. So think about it. I know you must be getting sick of hearing my voice all the time, and there's, uh, with the winter season approaching soon, you'll be able to do all your games from indoors instead of uh, some of the uh, cold, <laughs> windy games we've had here uh, for football, soccer, hockey, uh, field hockey. All right. Number five, Taylor Carter. The introduction of both Number squads ten, is going on now. Number 10, Emma Caulfield. Number 11, Captain Lindsey Jacobs. Number 13, Caitlin Norton. Number 15, Karen Birch. Number 19, Katie Colloran. Number 21, Kendall Cusick. Number 22, Izzy Adams. And number 32, Captain Maddie Clark. Head coach of Walpole is Jen Quinn. At this time, we'd also like to recognize all those who served in the armed forces, both past and present, and thank them for their service. Could we please rise for the playing of our national anthem? And with the playing of our national anthem, we will be getting underway shortly. <clears throat> Very sparse crowd today for a sat uh, Friday afternoon game. Uh, like we said, the winner of this game will play the winner of the Wachusett Regional uh, Franklin contest, uh, which is going on, uh, actually started an hour ago, so they'll be done before we are. Um, other than that, doesn't seem to be much else that we have here. We will keep us up to date on everything. And Walpole will be going from left to right on your TV screen for this first half. Maddie Clark heading out to her bailiwick out there. And uh, I'm stand corrected, Kira Donahue 
will be in goal for uh, Winchester. She's a senior, as is Clark. So we uh, should have a good game. Walpole has the advantage in both the fewer fewer goals allowed and more goals scored. But once you get to the tournament, it's anybody's ball game. And uh, this should be quite an interesting game. Winchester will start off with control of the ball. And our first 15-minute quarter is about to begin. With the whistle, we are on the way. Goes out of bounds. It'll be Walpole ball on the far side. Sending it in, looking for Izzy Adams. Adams over there on defense. Comes up. Going down, picked off by Winchester's. It's knocked away. On the far side, Winchester will start it back out again. Adams almost with the steal there. And there's uh, Kate Schneider over there. Bringing it down on the far side for the Terps. Going down along, and Walpole picks it off. That's Emma Caulfield over there with the steal. She's looking ahead, gets it to uh, Adams who tried a one-touch pass, went back over to Winchester, and it goes out. Picked off by Bridget Welch for Walpole. And it's knocked out by Winchester. Welch drops it back. for Caitlin Norton, sent ahead over to Birch. Karen has it, looking on the side, gets it in front, thrown in front. Walpole will get try to get there before it goes out. They, it will be Walpole ball out at the 25. Let's send it over on the side, looking in front. Nobody there, knocked out. Walpole's able to control it momentarily. Still keeping it in. Goes into the circle. Walpole's there. Walpole with a lot of early pressure on here. A shot kicked out, but not out of the circle. And uh, it's sent along the way by uh, Maddie Walsh. Okay, Walpole gets it back over to Welch. Bridget moving around, sending it up ahead. She to Claire Cudillo. Caulfield with the steal, getting it up to Birch. Birch has Bridget Welch. Welch looking for Adams. It'll be Walpole ball. Sent in. Adams still there, circling around, trying to get it in front to a teammate. Walpole's there, they've got it. And it's kicked aside by the goalie Molly uh, Kira Donahue. Walpole will start it again from the 25. And uh, it will be Winchester ball. Allie Burke sends it over, and it's picked off by Walpole. 
looking for uh, she was looking for Norton and just couldn't get there in time to get it. Norton there and Walpole comes up with it. It's Bridget Welch looking in front. She's got Izzy Adams. Adams tries a shot that is blocked before it can get through to the goalie. It'll be Winchester ball. Shot kicked out by Donahue on the side. It's picked up by uh, Samantha Galt, no, not by uh, Claire Cotillo, Cudillo. Adams with it. And a little kick on that, they say. There's a steal by Norton temporarily. And now it is a steal by Welch. Bridget leaves it for Norton. Norton will start it in. Gets it down to Welch. Welch battling along with uh, Carly Getters for Winchester. But Winchester will get it. 9-10 left in this first quarter. Sending it up is Gettys. She gets it to, comes over to uh, Samantha Gall. <coughs> Walpole gets it. Norton, Caitlin trying to self-pass there. It will be Winchester Ball. Goes up to uh, Julie Legere, but she loses it. Welch there playing defense. Bridget gets it, comes away with the ball. Starting the run in, still gets past there. Shoots it in front. And just beyond the reach of, uh, I think it was Taylor J Carter, but I'm not quite sure. That was Carter. But hey, we have our first uh, penalty stroke of the game. Comes out front, bouncing shot. And we get another penalty stroke here. Co-captain Lindsey Jacobs inserting for the Porkers. Comes up top, back to, to Lindsay. Her pass through is intercepted, but Walpole gets it back. And it's picked off there nicely. Shot comes through. It'll be Winchester ball. Looking just beyond the reach of Norton. Get us sending it down to, but it's picked off by Norton. Norton controlling and she will keep control of it. Starting down from the Walpole side of the field. A long flip shot. It's actually Winchester ball, they rule now. There's a steal by Walpole. Over there, that was Elena Gavoni. The ball still staying with Winchester. Shot 
Picked off by Walpole. That's Kendall Cusick over there. Cusick sends it down. It's picked off by Winchester, though. Battling away for it, Walpole. Coming up with it is Geddes, Kali Geddes. <coughs> Geddes sending it in, and it'll be Winchester ball. Bringing it into the circle. Backhanded, but Walpole comes up with it. Not all the way out. Goes over to Clear Catullo. And it will be Winchester ball on the side. Geddes will in will start it off at about the 15. <clears throat> Walpole gets it. And sent up ahead. Winchester's uh Madison Vaughn Merring stops it. Winchester has two. Four freshmen on their varsity. Walpole has two. Coming in for Wa Winchester. And we'll get a penalty stroke for Winchester. Serding comes out, back over. Well, nice defensive play by Walpole. Uh, and another penalty stroke called for the Terps. Comes out top. Blocked. Pin temporal comes out of the circle. And it's cleared out of bounds. It'll still be Winchester ball. Geddes again will start it off. Geddes is a senior. But Walpole comes up with it. Coming down the sidelines. The wall pole is uh, Kate Schneider. She sends it ahead to Carter. Taylor's shot is blocked. Walpole's got people in there. Carter just can't get a stick on it. Comes outside the circle. And Winchester takes control. Comes out, picked off at midfield by uh, Cady Colloran. Knock that gets past the Walpole defenders there. Sending it down is uh, Josie DiMatteo. And it comes back up to Walpole. Birch controlling for Walpole. Sending it ahead. She's got uh, uh, Schneider on the far side. Kate looking for someone. Can't quite get it. It'll be Walpole ball. Shot doesn't make it all the way through. And it will be Winchester ball. One and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. We're still scoreless here from Turco Field in the MIAA Division Three quarterfinal game between your Walpole High Porkers and the Terps of Winchester High School. Stolen by Norton, looking for uh, Adams. She's got Adams in front of it. And she has uh, taken an off her stick. There goes a Walpole ball at midfield. And it's dropped back. 
comes over on the side here. A steal by Winchester. Walpole gets it back again. And the Porkers start down. Sent ahead. Comes over to uh, Taylor Cotter. And it's stolen by Claire Catullo. Good hustle there by uh, Emma Caulfield. She starts and sends it through. Izzy Adams with it, battling away. It'll be Walpole ball. Lindsay Jacobs tries a shot at the buzzer. It doesn't make it. And the horn sounds ending the first quarter here from Turco Field. We are scoreless. Both teams have two penalty strokes. And uh, it's been a fairly evenly matched game so far. All right. Uh, Game moving right along. There's a pr predicting rain for starting in about 4 o'clock this afternoon. This is a 2 o'clock start. So they're trying to get the game in before the rain comes because the rain is supposed to go right through until at least midday tomorrow, which would uh, negate any early uh, games being scheduled. I'm not sure if there are any, but that would uh, negate any of them. Walpole's football team will play on Thanksgiving Day morning right here at Turco Field starting at 10 a.m. We hope to see a large uh, group of fans here for that game. It'll also be senior day, day for both the uh, football and cheer teams. Walpole controlling again. And it gets dropped back to Colloran. Katie moving it up the field. She hits Caitlin Naughton with the pass. Caitlin looking for Bridget Welch. It will be, goes over to Winchester instead. Knocked down nicely by Naughton. But her number 13 counterpart, Carly Geddes, gets it right back for the Terps. And Emma Caulfield drops it back to Colloran. Ball comes over to Winchester. Ball pole going down on that far side. Shot in front doesn't get through. Winchester coming down on the far side. And it's picked off nicely by Walpole. Still Walpole ball. Katie Colloran starting it. Actually, I was wrong there. That was not. Katie sent it ahead to her. It's Norton looking for Welch. Bridget still got the. Head on her, sends it in front. Oh, just jumped over the stick of Taylor Carter. Right front, shot score from the far side. Walpole gets on the board first. So at uh, 2.08 of the second quarter, Walpole finds the back of the net to take a one to nothing lead. Walpole starting back here, uh, waiting for the official scoring from Walpole. Two scorers who have been just immense helps to me this year, getting me scoring 
for every game, uh, the, both ones we covered and the ones we couldn't cover. Uh, Faith Heffernan and Sabrina Abadie, thank you very, very much, girls, for all your help this year. The shot will go out behind the net. Controlling the ball. It's a wall pull ball still. Okay. Comes out. It will still be uh, Winchester ball. There's a fan by uh, Sally Burke. Continues to be Walpole ball. Karen Birch got credit for the goal from Taylor Cotter. It'll be Winchester ball. T just over 10 minutes to go in the half. Walpole leading, one to nothing. Walpole, Naughton with the ball. Sends it through. He's got somebody in front. Oh, just wide of the net. She had, uh, I think it was Cotter, set up in front there, and her shot just went wide on the right side of the net to the goalie's right. Walpole bringing it down on the far side. Drops it back to Colleran. Colleran sends it up. She was looking for uh, Naughton. Winchester intercepted. Colleran's there for to break up that pass. It's sent down the far side. <coughs> Taylor Carter bringing it down and she has it knocked out of bounds. It will be Walpole ball. Sending it in but so it comes back out, it's kept in by Walpole. Going, it bounces out off of a Winchester player. Kendall Cusick sends it in for Walpole. And it comes back on the side. Pork is bringing it down in front. It's knocked away and it comes out. It's blocked. Sent way ahead of our teammates, so it'll be Walpole ball. Emma Caulfield will start it off for the Porkers. It's knocked down by uh, Julie Legere for Winchester. She drops it back to Madison Vaughn Merring. On the far side, uh, Josie DiMatteo sends it up to Walpole. Lindsay Jacobs gets it ahead to Carter. Taylor looking for Birch, uh, for Welch. 
looking in front. Shot is fleeing wide, and it'll be Winchester ball. <coughs> Ball pulls, is able to clear it up. It was Cusick, I think. Winchester coming right back. And a corner, a uh, penalty stroke called for Winchester. Annie Ettenhofer will insert for the Terps. Gets it up front. Over to the side. Saved by Walpole. Cleared out. And it will not able to get there in time was Caulfield. DiMatteo with it. And Walpole comes up with it. Sends it back out. Di Matteo looking for somebody, gets it through and cleared out by Walpole. Shot. And another penalty stroke for the Terps. Hoffa once again will insert, a bad insert, and it's cleared out by Walpole. Terps get it back in, but Walpole's able to clear it. It goes out of bounds. Winchester ball, about the 30 or so. Di Matteo will insert for, oh, will start it off for. Winchester. <coughs> Red and black getting the ball in close. Cleared out and picked off by uh, Gavoni. Elena's shot is stolen by Winchester. Looking in front, there's a wall pole. Jacobs there to make the interception and send the ball out. And Walpole in a break here, slowing it down. Looking over to Norton, Caitlin's got it. Sends it ahead. She has uh, Carter there. Sent through. Adams couldn't quite get there on time. And it'll be Winchester ball. Three fifty and counting in the first half. Walpole on top, one to nothing. Kettis starts. She was looking for Legere and it bounced over her stick. It'll be Walpole ball with Caulfield starting it off over to Jacobs. Porker co-captain. Looking ahead, she's got uh, Gavoni over there. Helena moving it in closer, cutting towards the middle of the field. And she's able to get it to Karen Birch. Karen still staying with it, looking in front. Walpole keeps it there, kicked out by uh, Donahue. So breakaway. And cleared out nicely by uh, uh, Maddie Clark, who came all the way out to the 10 yard line to kick that out. Because a good uh, offensive break there for Winchester. 
Go and that will go out behind the end line and Walpole will have control of the ball. Coming up to the side. Going down. Winchester will get there first. That's uh, Legere over there. Walpole, Izzy Adams with it. Coming in. Ball loose at the feet. Walpole shoots. Can't get it through. And it's sent out where it's picked off by Walpole coming back in again. And it comes over to the side. A breakout here for the Terps. It's uh, Legere with it. She has it picked off her stick by uh, Jacobs. Lindsay gets it over. Nice save on the far side. Adams with it. And she is unable to do anything with it. Approaching one minute to go in the half. Winchester down on the far side. Going, cleared into the circle and Walpole clears it out of the circle. Picking it up on the run for Walpole is Colleran. No, I'm sorry, that was Caulfield. And it goes out of bounds. It will be uh, Geddes starting it off for uh, Winchester. And tipped out of bounds by uh, Ava Paragas for the Terps. Eight seconds, I don't think we're going to be able to get anything much going here in the final thing. And that will end the first half here from Turco Field with Walpole on top, one to nothing on a goal at 2.08 of the second period by Karen Birch with Taylor Cotter assisting. That's the way we stand right now. It's been a pretty evenly matched game. Both teams looking good out there. They're going to take a little break. We'll do the same, and we'll be back shortly with second half action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to second half action here from John Turco Field, where your Walpole Porkers hold a one to nothing advantage over the Winchester Terps in this MIAA Division III quarterfinal game. Uh, from this point on, they'll go to neutral sites, uh, probably... Monday or Tuesday of next week for the semifinals and usually the following Saturday for uh, the championship matches. Walpole will be going right to left on your TV screen and start off with control of the ball. A swing and a miss over there on the far side. Ball cleared out. It'll be Winchester ball. Ball pole comes over to Gavoni, who's able to save it. Sends it ahead, and it. Goes out, Gavoni gets it back. She's looking for uh, Taylor Cotter, and it's picked off by uh, Annie Ettenhofer, the inserter for uh, Winchester. Walpole bringing the ball down. Bridget Welch over on the far side. Walpole will get it. Oh, a scuff there. Uh, 
Oh, nice play over the far side there. That uh, defensive move, a nice one, was by Emma Caulfield. Winchester starting down the field. Yeah, the ball is stolen by Walpole. Norton sends it up. She's got uh, Birch. And a penalty stroke for Walpole. Well, Lindsay Jacobs will be re inserted this time from the left of the goalie. To try a different look. Goes in front, still alive, kicked out by Donahue. And Winchester starts back. On the far side, that's Madeline Rabinovich with the ball. Pull ball. It's, uh, Norton with it. She loses it to Winchester. And it's taken back and stolen by Walpole. Sending it ahead there to uh, Carter. Oh, I take it back, that wasn't uh, Cotter. Oh, actually it was Taylor. I'm sorry, Taylor. Walpole going ahead, and it will go out. It will be Winchester ball. Kate Schneider getting ready to come back in for the Porkers. Terp sending it down. It goes out of bounds. It'll be Walpole ball. Walpole controlling. It's coming in. Looking in front. Sh blocked. Shot. Goal! Backhanded shot from in close. I think that was Taylor Cotter with the goal for Walpole. Putting them up two to nothing at the 442 mark of the third quarter. And it gives Walpole a little bit of breathing room here. So uh, Bridget Welch comes out for a breather and she's replaced by Kate Schneider. Potter scores from Adams on that second Walpole goal. Walpole bringing the ball down. Backhanded in, nothing there. Winchester starting it up. Picked off by uh, Gavoni, but they give the ball back to Winchester at the 30. DiMatteo, well, uh, Winchester moving it all the way across the field with a series of passes, but they lose possession. Walpole gets it. 
sending it down and it goes out off the end line it'll be Winchester ball lost out of bounds by Winchester so Walpole will get it right back again Schnag Boney over there playing defense, but bringing it down for the Terps was uh, Paragus, Ava Paragus. She loses it, and Walpole will get it back. It's, uh, Paragus stops it, but her pass is picked off by uh, Schneider. Goes to Kendall Cusack. Walpole and the scuff will get the ball back, and it's taken right away again. Thrown in front. It will go past the end line, and Walpole will bring it out again. Comes up to Gavoni. Elena bringing it down, sending it down. Her pass is knocked down by DiMatteo, but it goes right back to Cusack. Cusack to Gavoni. And down to Schneider. Kate trying to lead Izzy Adams. Adams doing a little bit of defense there. Takes a tumble. Gets back up. And uh, Kate Burhardt controlling the ball for Winchester. Knocked down. Walpole gets it back. Going down on the far side. Sent in front. Adams battling there for it. It will be a penalty stroke for Walpole. Their first since the first quarter when they had two. Both teams had two in the first quarter. Winchester had two to none for Walpole in the second quarter. Co-captain Lindsey Jacobs will insert for the Porkers. Comes up top. Over. Shot through a screen. Save before he can get through to the goalie. Walpole gets it back, though. Goes to Cusack. Kendall moving in with it. And Walpole. Jacobs has it. Sent through, and another penalty stroke for Walpole. Uh, Jake was back over to the right of the net again this time. That comes back up on top. Just a little scuff shot. Oh! Walpole just couldn't get around to it, and it will be Winchester ball. Five and a half minutes left in the third quarter. The Porkers on top, two to nothing over the Terps of Winchester High in this MIAA Division Three quarterfinal game. Walpole with the ball, bouncing it in, still Walpole ball. Looks like Cusack over on the far side with it. Try to s Actually, that was not in my, my bad. Knocked down by Norton. Caitlin looking over. She's got uh, Schneider over there. Walpole comes up with it. Battling was uh, Adams. Circling around for Walpole. And it's knocked out. It'll be a 
third penalty stroke of the quarter for Walpole. And Lindsay goes back over to the left of the net again. This Walpole seems to be alternating sides for in this second half. Comes up top. Uh, goal from way outside. That was a long lift shot from about 20 yards out. And Walpole jumps to a three to nothing lead here. Time of the goal is 11.17. Walpole with a little more breathing room now. That was uh, Norton, Caitlin Norton from Lindsay Jacobs. The Walpole's lead is three goals now. Bringing it down on the sideline and keeping it in. Oh, loses it out. That was uh, Colloran. Maddie Walsh, who scored the Winchester goal in their last game, a one to nothing victory. Winchester bringing it down, going in front. Walpole's able to clear it out. Good head of steam going there for Walpole. Still controlling. They do. But uh, Winchester will win the battle to the ball. But down there for Walpole, helping out is uh, Taylor Cotter. Terps get the ball back, but Walpole intercepts on their side of the field, keeping it in, down along the side, and coming out with it for Walpole. Circling back, looking in front. It'll be Winchester ball. Minute and a half to go in this third quarter. Izzy Adams getting ready to come back in for Walpole. Porkers lose it out of bounds, so the Terps bring it back down. Winchester ball. <coughs> Any Terps I'm sure would like to get on the board before this quarter ends. Down the sideline, Winchester comes up with it. Looking in front, and it's picked off. Nope. Red and black bringing the ball down, but Walpole's defense is there. And Walpole will be able to start it out. Five seconds left in the third quarter, and that should just about end it. It does. The horn sounds, and we've got three quarters into the book. Walpole leading three to nothing after a scoreless first period. Karen uh, Birch scored from Taylor Carter at 2.08 of the second quarter, and it 
That was the halftime score, one to nothing. Uh, in the third quarter at the 442 mark, Taylor Carter scored from Izzy Adams. And then at 11 17, uh, Caitlin Norton made it three to nothing from co captain Lindsey Jacobs. And that's the way we stand after 45 minutes of play here. We will be getting back to the next uh, 15 minutes shortly. And uh, Walpole with a good lead now, three to nothing. The way they play defense, uh, that should be enough to uh, carry them for the rest of this game here. I don't think, in fact, I know for a fact Walpole hasn't given up three goals in a period uh, all year. In fact, they've only given up three goals in a game once, and that was in the 3-1 uh, to one loss to Longmeadow. So uh, Walpole's defense, this was the key this year for the pork is coming, and they had lost the, their top four scorers from last year when they uh, ended up losing in the state finals to Andover, one to nothing. Uh, so uh, Coach Jen Quinn decided we're going to go defense a lot more this year, and the uh, defensive tandem of uh, Maddie Clark and Abby Johnson has just been outstanding, uh, and also huge props to their defenders that. Uh, go in front and keep that ball away from them so they don't have to make a lot of uh, uh, stops anyway. So Winchester goes back out on the field. Walpole will be heading out shortly. And we are ready for fourth quarter action from Turco Field. Walpole looking to advance to the state semifinals against the winner of Wachusett Regional versus Franklin. Walpole has already beaten Franklin 6-2 to two in a tough game that had some controversy in it with uh, a Franklin player punching out Je uh, Bridget Welch uh, in the final seconds of the game and uh, didn't leave a good taste in the uh, mouths of the Walpole players. So this could be a very chippy game should... Uh, uh, Franklin get past Wachusett. All right. Ball sent out. It will be Walpole ball. Kendall Cusick is sending it off for the Porkers. She'll just bring it in herself. Throws it in front. Izzy, Izzy Adams there battling for it. And it comes up to uh, Kali Geddes for Winchester. Walpole intercepts on the foul side. Winchester sending it forward. Nice defensive play by Walpole. Staying right with her the whole way is Cusack. Going up the side. Coming up all the way. Winchester gets it over to uh, Josie Di, Di, Di Matteo. Walpole gets it out. And it's sent down along the side. It will be Winchester ball. <coughs> The uh, red and black looking to get something started here. Walpole's defense shoring up in front of Maddie Clark. There's a steal by Walpole. Walpole. 
Sending it down, looking ahead over there for uh, Bridget Welch. And the ball goes out past the end line. It will be Winchester ball. That ball is cleared out of bounds. As the scuffed off the inside of her stick. And Walpole will send it back in. It's Caitlin Norton with it. Winchester comes up with it. Looking ahead and it's Knocked out of bounds by Walpole. 11 minutes to go in regulation. Comes all the way down and Walpole comes up with it. Going over. Looking nice hustle over there by Carter. Taylor really moved up. Coming almost all the way across the field to get that ball before it went out. Lindsay Jacobs with it. She sends up. It hits the foot of uh, Elena Gavoni. Whirlpool will dump it out. Ten and a half minutes to go in regulation. Maddie Walsh starting it off for the Terps. She brings it in. Throws it into a group of white shirts. Carter up to Adams. Is he coming down? She's got Kate Schneider up ahead of her. Ball's chasing it down as Carter on the far side looking in front. She's got the shot. Score! Izzy Adams makes it four to nothing, Walpole. What a beautiful setup that was. Time of that goal is 5.07. So Walpole's lead is 4 to nothing now. And the way Walpole's been playing that this year, that pretty much puts the game out of reach for uh, the Terps. So, oh, it's Kate Schneider that scored that from Cotter. I thought it was a double two. It was just one. So, Kate Schneider, congratulations. A three-point game today for uh, Taylor Cotter. A goal and two assists. Walpole going down on the far side. Pork is bringing the ball back. It will be Winchester ball as it looks like uh, Maddie Walsh hit the dust on that uh, play. No, it wasn't Walsh, it was Geddes, Carly Geddes. Okay, Lindsey Jacobs comes up with the ball. Sends it over across. <coughs> Steal by Winchester. Winchester coming down, looking for the ball, looking, and it's knocked out of the circle. Caitlin Norton comes up with it. <clears throat> going down the side. Walpole comes up with the steal there. Going to it. Ball is loose. And Winchester's able to come out of the scrum with it. 
<coughs> there's a scuff. Walpole steals, throwing it in front, and this will go out on the far side here. It will be Winchester ball with seven and a half minutes to go in regulation. The Porkers on top, four to nothing. Goals by Karen Birch, Taylor Carter, Caitlin Norton, and Kate Schneider. As uh, the, it was all spread out, but Carter, like we said, has a goal and two assists, so she's been uh, all over the field for the Porkers today. There's uh, Gavoni. She was trying to set somebody up, but couldn't get the ball through. That will go out of bounds. It'll be Walpole ball. <coughs> Walpole sending it across, but it's picked off by Winchester. Good heads up play by Walpole over there. That uh, was uh, Emma Caulfield. <coughs> Jacob's there, battling away. It'll be Winchester ball. Six minutes left in regulation. The Terps trying to get something going here. Like... Uh, Almost every other team that Walpole's played this year, they haven't been able to do much against Walpole's uh, collapsing defense that just does a tremendous job all year long keeping the ball away from the uh, porker net. Geddes comes up with it on the far side. It'll be Winchester ball. Stolen by Walpole. Sent in the head. Jumps over with the Winchester stick. Over there was Carter for Walpole. <coughs> and a timeout called by... Uh, I think they said it was called by Walpole with 448 left in regulation. So we can go back over the scoring again here while we've got a break. Uh, Karen Bird opened the scoring from Taylor Carter at 208 of the second quarter. Carter then scored from Izzy Adams at 442 of the third. Caitlin Norton from Lindsey Jacobs at 1117 of the third made it three to nothing Walpole. And the fourth goal by Kate Schneider from Carter at 507 of the fourth quarter. And we've got 448 left in regulation. Uh, Walpole pretty much in control here. The uh, photographer down there taking pictures of the Walpole bench is Mark Stockwell, who is uh, working for the Boston Globe today. Mark and I go way back when we both worked at the Sun Chronicle in Attleboro, back in the back in the day, as they say. <coughs> in fact, the truth be told, Mark was the man who got me my job there. So Walpole coming out here. Maddie Clark heading back to her bailiwick. <coughs> Walpole clearing the ball away. Sending it ahead. It comes up to uh, Emma Biancooley. 
as some of the younger players for Walpole are getting a chance to play in this tournament game. On the far side, Walpole bringing it in. Oh, bringing it all the way in. Shot right through. Makes it, stays in the circuit. It'll be Winchester ball. <clears throat> Four minutes left in this one. And Walpole will be on their way to the state semifinals. Walpole ball. At the end of this game, at the conclusion, the winning team, which in this, at this point looks to be the Walpole Porkers, will receive their Final Four trophy from the MIAA as they will advance to the Final Four, the state semifinals. Sending it up ahead. <coughs> it goes as clears out of bounds by Walpole. Two and a half minutes left. Elena Gavoni comes out and uh, Bridget Welch goes back in. Is the Adams waiting to come in? Oh, sure. Adams will replace uh, Kate Schneider. <coughs> We are under two minutes to play here. Bringing it down and able to keep it in momentarily was uh, Welch. Ball goes over. Izzy Adams is there. Kept in nicely on the far side by the Terps. <coughs> Shot goes behind the net. It'll be Winchester ball. And Walpole will get the ball back here. Uh, no, Winchester will get the ball back here. <coughs> Sent up ahead. We are under a minute to go. Walpole will be going to the state semifinals. Cleared down. Winchester having trouble. Walpole still staying on the attack. Good hustle there by uh, Birch. For the Porkers. <clears throat> we are down to the final 10 seconds. Walpole looking to ensure the shutout. And that will be it as the final horn sounds. Your Porkers once again are going to the state semifinals. As they go out and congratulate goalie Matty Clark, we will go over the scoring one last time here. Karen Birch scored from Taylor Carter 208 into the second quarter. That was with the way the score stood at halftime, uh, one to nothing. Then uh, at 442 of the third quarter, Carter scored from Izzy Adams to make it two to nothing. 
At 11-17, Caitlin Naughton scored from Lindsey Jacobs, making it three to nothing. And Kate Schneider, a freshman, ended the scoring for Walpole from Linz, uh, Taylor Carter at 5.07 of the fourth. Uh, Walpole ended up with uh, five, uh, um, five uh, penalty strokes to four for Winchester. So we will uh, stay on and watch the uh, trophy presentation here for Walpole and uh, congratulate the Porkers once again who will go to a neutral site for the uh, uh, state quarterfinal game. The congratulatory handshakes between the two teams. <coughs> and uh, the Porkers getting ready to receive their final four trophy here. This time I'd like to congratulate both teams on a great game. I'd like to congratulate Winchester High School on a fantastic season and wish their seniors the best of luck. Walpole's uh, co-captains, Matty Clark and Lindsey Jacobs, receiving the uh, Final Four trophy. And the Porkers will celebrate now. Walpole High School advances to the round of four, either Tuesday or Wednesday. So, Wachusett High School. Ooh, Wachusett upset Franklin. Franklin High School, two to one. Two to one, a big upset there. Well, not a big one. Uh, Wachusett was actually... Uh, one spot ahead of them in the seedings. So uh, that game will be going uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, they're saying. So we would like to thank you once again for watching this Walpole Media Corporation broadcast of Walpole High School Varsity Field Hockey Action. Once again, the final score of the uh, MIAA Division III uh, quarterfinal <laughs> action. Once again, your final score, the Walpole Porkers four, the Winchester Terps zero.